Today we're talking about VFX for my first video, but not the effects you're thinking of. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the lighting is a little different. I'm still trying to work out what works best for the lighting in this situation. And this time I actually had a little bit of help on setting up the lights. Just a shout out to Eddie, you know, he's just so helpful. Eddie, please stop eating that. I also want to point out, I got this awesome new tumbler from Adobe. So jumping into it, you guys probably noticed my first video that I added the fun lightsaber effects. Womp womp. What you probably didn't notice is that I actually added other VFX towards the end of the video. So because I'm new to all this, I'm still learning and I forgot to turn the sleep timer off on my monitors. So they actually shut off halfway through the video. I obviously had to roto and cut myself out in order to put the screens behind me. I wanted to see if I could get clever by pulling footage from earlier in the video and adding it to the end, so that way you never notice the monitors actually ever turn off. Ultimately, I didn't have to re-record the video and I solved my problem with VFX. And so my point here is, is that you don't have to plan anything. Um, Pre-production is pointless. You can fix everything in post. Just fix it in post. I'm kidding, do not do that. What you wanna do is actually plan out as much as possible. I highly recommend doing pre-production for any video, no matter how small. But it's also good to know that when you're shooting something, not everything is gonna go as planned. But if you're in the edit and you notice something isn't right, but the truth is sometimes you get in post and something goes wrong or you miss something. Before panicking, try to get clever with it and see if there's a solution that you could do with clever editing or even VFX. You might be surprised on what you could do. Thanks for watching this episode. I'll see you guys next time.